How you doing? Is this your area right here? It is. So from that end to that end, it's U.S. food source. And uh, these are the vehicles over here that we offer. Here's a brochure. We have everything from HEVs to PHEVs to fully electric vehicles and uh, quite a robust offering. Um, you can go anywhere from, a, say, on a, on a BEV to on a LEAF. That's a pretty, you know, mm -hmm. inexpensive vehicle. By the way, do you mind me interviewing you? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we just started talking. Um, so, obviously, I'm government. And so, for those who are watching this, this is a government uh, program where they can get vehicles like Tesla and Hyundai and any other vehicle that you want that you just showed us, right? That's correct. Now, yeah. is, so is that purchased outright? Is that leased? How does that work? It can go through either one. If you go through the GSA lease, they'll end up ordering it through us anyways, and it'll come to you guys through a lease program. Okay. Or if you guys want to order them all right. Yeah. Um, I was just showing you the brochure. Yeah. Yeah. It's got all the, the SINs listed across the brochure right. and all the vehicles offered. But once again, we, we at this point, U.S. Fleet has our, the largest selection of vehicles ranging from HEV yeah. to PHEV yeah. to BEV. Yeah. Um, we've got stuff coming out almost every month. The, the Mitsubishi here, the Outlander, yeah. that should come up on the select next month. Right. It's a PHEV, it qualifies as an EV vehicle, right. and yet you hit the ground running. It gets a 38 mile range for the plug-in side of it, yeah. and then it shifts over to the gasoline hybrid engine. Right. Um, it's beautiful, it's brand new. Um, a great vehicle to purchase. Oh, what, is, what is your name, by the way? I'm Brian Claus. So, Brian, um, I work at the Capitol. And so, during the, during the pandemic, and then we had the uh, sh sh chip shortage, you guys caught a lot of flack, I'm sure, because people was trying to buy stuff, and it was no fault of yours, but uh, the SINs, and, and what we're talking about with SINs, if people don't know, are VIN numbers, basically, that are attached, are in the system of GSA. We was trying to, people was trying to order vehicles and they couldn't get them because of chip color issues. Right. Manufacturing, it all came to a grinding halt. Right. Now, since that supply chain has broken or loose, now vehicles can come as fast as, how fast can they, a vehicle can be delivered? So, so there's still some supply chain restraints really? going on what, right now. What, come on, really, seriously? Are we still living through this? <laughs> I know the chickens are having problems hatching eggs or whatever. So, so let, it's probably better if I give maybe a little bit of understanding on what happens in the industry. Okay. Okay. So the, the OEM or the manufacturer, mm -hmm. right, supplies most of their vehicles, almost all of them, right. to retail facilities, which are brick and mortar locations, like your right. Chevy dealers yes, and your Ford yes, dealers yes, and yes, your Hyundai yes, dealers. Yes, yes. So what happens there is there is a there is a reporting tool called day supply mm -hmm. and when day supplies get extremely low like they have mm -hmm. they were down as low as seven day supply they have to fill that supply chain up first okay. before it can overflow into the fleet side of the industry right so to give a little history lesson during the pandemic it was down to seven day supply which means you walk on a dealer lot there's no cars right but a healthy dealership is 60 day supply. You see lots of cars. Mm -hmm. Right now, the industry with automotive news reporting shows that they're at a 60 day supply, mm -hmm. meaning now that that is healthy, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. you'll start to see a healthy supply of vehicles moving through the fleet through. side. Okay. So okay. that's the best I can explain okay. it. So I, okay. I think you're going to see the days, of the, the wait time for orders, you're going to start seeing it get shorter and shorter and shorter because right, right. now they don't need to fill that backlog. Yes, gotcha. Good answer, good. So, um, I'm glad you took the time to talk to me. I know I just kind of threw this camera in your face, so I apologize. Yeah, no worries. But, but you know, you, you're famous. I'm famous now. <laughs> you're famous. Yeah, you're going to yeah. be famous. You're going to yeah. be famous. <laughs> so, um, again, thank you for talking to me. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, you're welcome. You, you are a champ, and, and you did quite well. Yeah, and I will send you a copy of this video. <laughs> Thank you. It'll be about. I appreciate it, your thing. Yeah, I do want to tell everybody seriously. It's it's. We appreciate all the business that you guys give, and we appreciate right, your right, support, right. and uh, especially you in the armed services. We appreciate you as well. So but thank, but you. thank you. I'm yeah. retired army. Good, you got yeah, you got good yeah. eyesight there. Good, good, good. So uh, thank you. You're going to be world famous. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Right. Thanks a lot. Day. All right. All right. Bye. See you.